Yo, what's up guys, Mods here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do transitions in Vegas Pro. Before we start, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm streaming daily, Warzone, other games, um, editing, so put that bell icon on so you don't miss out on any streams. Um, if you want an edit, make sure to hit us up on Twitter, link to that will be in the description down below. And yeah, without further delay, let's get into the video. So here we are in Vegas, let's say you finish your edit, got the effects, color correction, everything, and now you need transitions to make it look extra spicy. So, let me just show you guys what, I'm, what I've done here, so. So I just did this really short cinematic edit, and I need to uh, do transitions in between these three cinematics, so. What I basically use for transitions is S underscore blur mo curves. This effect, if you go to video effects here and go to S underscore blur mo curves, this effect is a part of the Sapphire plugin. So, here you go. You can just drag it on your first cinematic here. It will bring up this window. Um, there's uh, the thing called Z distance, which basically is the zoom in and out when you do the transitions. There's the rotate. Basically straightforward, rotate. There's the shift X which messes with the horizontal plane and shift Y which does with a vertical plane. So before you do anything here, make sure the warp X is set to reflect. Warp Y is also set to reflect. And now let's say you want to do the transition and you need like a kind of a zoom in and then um, like shifting to the left and up. I I'm gonna show you how, don't get confused. So, Let's say this is the first um, cinematic over here, okay? Before we do anything, let's see the movement of this cinematic. So let me just play it. So this cinematic's movement is going to the left and up. So as you can see, to the left and up. So what we're gonna do here is animate the Z distance which messes with the zoom in. Animate the shift X, which messes with the horizontal plane. The shift Y, which affects the vertical plane. Now we're gonna go to the uh, every uh, the last frame of the cinematic. Right here, make sure you selected this blue button over here. Add a point. Make sure you selected the, the S Plermo curves also here, not like individuals selected from the beginning here and add a point, then click on this point, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, add another point. Now, now if you click this point, it's gonna show um, the next cinematic. Um, I don't wanna do that, so let me just put it to the left a bit so it shows this cinematic. And now you can just mess with the Z distance, make a zoom in. Let me put it to like 0 0.5 so it zooms in a bit. Shift the X to the left. If you slide the Shift X um, bar to the right, it's gonna actually shift here to the left. So, as you can see here, shift it to the right a bit. And the Shift Y, if you put it to negative, it will go up. So, this is basically it for now for this uh, S Blurmo curves. And now, what you're gonna do is drag this, put it to the right, go to these points, right click slow. Right click slow, right click and slow. Now, go to this point, right click, copy. Drag the effect to the next cinematic. Make sure these are set to reflect. Animate Z distance, shift X and shift Y. And then click on this beginning right here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Drag this to the where it meets with that timeline. Go back to the beginning, right click, or don't right click, just do Control V on your keyboard to paste the, uh, to paste the point that you copied here. So, this is the second cinematic. You just go on these individual points, or you can just hold Control and click on them, right click and set to fast now. As you can see, let me just play this real quick. This doesn't look as good as you can see. That's why 
the point you copied here, you see these um, values? So the shift Y here is set to negative 0.2. You should delete this minus. So just put it to 0.2. And the shift X, because it's positive here, you just do negative. So you just basically shuffle them, you know what I'm saying? So if, if this was minus, you do positive. If it was minus on the other cinematic, you do positive, and it was, if it was positive, you do negative. And now the Z distance is 0.5, so drag it to about 1.2, and you're basically done. Let me just show you guys how it looks. See how it looks so smooth now? Perfect. Now, um... Let me just do it real quick to the other two cinematics, so same thing, let me check the movement. The movement of this cinematic is only straightforward, with a little bit of tilt to the left, but I'm gonna just do as if it was straightforward. Just go to the end of this cinematic, then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, add a point. Go to the end of it, add also another point. And now you only should mess with the Z distance. Drag it to about 0.52, right click and set to slope. So this is basically the Z distance. This is the shift X and this is the shift Y. All right, so let's see how this looks. You see this zoom in here? This is the what, what the Z distance does. And now let me drag the effect on the last cinematic. Reflect, reflect. Z distance. Only because uh, you only used Z distance on the previous cinematic. You should only also use Z distance on this one. Then go to the beginning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Add a point here. Also add a, another point on the beginning. And set it to uh, 1.2. Now let me just play this, show you guys how it looks. You see this transi transition over here? This is what I'm talking about. So you're basically done with S Blurmo curves. This is the main thing that I use for my transitions, so... Now we're gonna move on to the extras. I use the BCC, blur, uh, BCC Lens Blur which is this effect over here. One second. Um, okay, it loaded. Now you can drag it on the track if you want, not like on the individual cinematics. You can drag it on the track. As you can see, I already have some color correction here. Make sure to check out the color correction tutorial if you haven't yet. Now let's move on to the blur, so. This is the iris scale, determines how much blur you have. As you can see, I'm dragging it up and down and it's it's changing. So, let me just put it to zero now. Press on animate. And then, what am I gonna do is go to the transition in between. Go add a, uh, add a point here. Then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add another point. Then go back to this um, midpoint over here. Then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Add another point. As you can see, there are two points here. And there is one point sandwiched between these two points. This is the midpoint of these two points. Should It should line up with this marker over here. So now, press on the midpoint. And drag the iris scale. Doesn't. Uh, it really matter how much it actually it's actually perfect uh, personal preference so now go to this previous points right click slow right click fast now there is this really smooth blur on the transition now you can just copy it to the next cinematic by it's, it's really easy so just click on this point hold control and then click on these points and then control V to copy them. All right. Then go back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to the left. Press back here. 
on the BCC lens blur. Control V, it's gonna paste here. So, as you can see, you got a blur here and a blur here. Now, I also um, like to add some desaturations, not only um, the blur. So, let me just go to BCC Hue Saturation Lightness. Uh, and by the way, guys, this BCC thing is a plugin you should uh, download to the Vegas. So here you go, I found it. Now you can just do the same here. Drag it to the track, not to the individual clips. Now you can uh, check the saturation here and animate the saturation. And now if you previously did the BCC lens blur, this is the re really easy. Click on this point and go back to BCC Hue Saturation Lightness. Add a keyframe and click here, go back, add another keyframe, click here, go back and add the last keyframe. Now go to the midpoint of these three keyframes, oops, sorry, and then drag down the saturation a bit to about, I, I like to do it at like 75, then right click slow, right click fast. All right, now you just mark the points by holding Control and pressing on them. Control C to copy. Go to the second clip or cinematic or whatever you're using. Um, you can actually see the points here if you have it uh, to the track. And you can expand it and see it, see the points bigger. Okay, then click on this point, then click back on the BCC hue saturation and control V to, go, to paste it. Now we're done basically, let me just see how it looks. You can see this desaturation here. And now if you wanna make it longer, wanna make the transition longer, you can drag the points like far away from the midpoint here. And do the same here. Then let me just show you how it looks now. Now the transition is longer. So this is basically it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to uh, ask me on Twitter. Link to that will be in the description down below. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon. I'm streaming every day, so tune in. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys soon.